you preaching. Amen. And, and to all my amen. brothers and sisters in the Lord, amen, in your yes, respective places, yes, we welcome you to prophetic utterance. We hope you're having a good time. Yes. Yeah, we have a church. And we are grateful for everything that God's allowing us to do. Amen. Amen. And, and uh, I want to thank uh, Dr. Keys and Reverend and Terry, amen, Pastor Terry's brother here, amen, and Reverend Terry and everybody that came out last night and let me get emotional, then I told you I'd get carried away like this. <laughs> but we thank God for you, amen. We thank God for right to life. We thank God for the babies that are in this church right now. Because they weren't aborted. Amen. amen. We thank God for that. Amen. We thank God for all our young people that we have in our church. Yes. All the mothers here that we want to say to you again. Happy Mother's Day. Yes. Let's give a mother a hand in the house. Come on, give them a hand. Amen. Amen. I asked Brother Randall to because I want him to introduce our speaker. And, and I, 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 I'm, my heart is so full. I, I want to also say there is unity in the body of Christ. Yes. There is unity in the body of Christ, and this service proves it. Come on, give God some praise for that, amen. Unity in the body. Amen. And so, and so I want you to enjoy the service today. But again, this is, this is absolutely, positively God's will, and His Spirit is moving in the temple. Can you say amen? amen. And so we want you to enjoy the service today. We pray that you get something out of it. Take it with you. Tell somebody that we all love Jesus. Come on in and start speaking. All right. God bless you. Make his face shine on you. It's right. an awesome blessing to be with you this morning. God bless you. And I like you. You got the gift, man. You got to keep going with that. Well, I'm talking, you're playing. Is that good? You know what I'm saying? That's how I like it right there. I got to tell you, when... When your pastor is not with you, yeah. that's when you know what he's really made of. All right. Amen. And I've been with pastors that when their flock's not around, they're going, man, my people are a bunch of goats. I wish I had some sheep. They're goats. And they're complaining and carrying on. But Bishop Madison is not with you. He talks about how much he loves you. That's what he does. Talks about being willing to lay down his life for you. Talks about... The hand of God being upon you. He said, our choir is off the chain. <laughs> Amen. I heard and I saw and I know. <laughs> so, it's a blessing to be with you. You are blessed to have a man who loves you and rejoice with you. I want to say something before I introduce Dr. Keys, And that is this. God has chosen the weak things of the world to overthrow the mighty. All right. God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So that no flesh can boast in His presence, but that all glory goes to Him. So, when you look at the world's ways, when Jesus came, who would have thought Jesus is going to take a bunch of ragtag people and use them to overturn the oppression of the mighty? To use them to overturn the oppressive tyrants of their day that were grinding the innocent under their heel. But Jesus did. But I'll go a step further. You ever heard the phrase, the apostle to the apostles? The apostle... To the apostles. When the night that Jesus was betrayed, he said, one of you is going to betray me. And they said, not me, not me. Who is it? No, not me. I'll die with you, Lord. And then they all turned and ran. Yes. And then they were hiding in the upper room. And Jesus is alive. He rose from the dead three days later. He's alive. He's looking around. Where are all those guys talking all that trash? Yeah. <laughs> and he finds a little lady crying at the tomb. Mary Magdalene. Yes. Mary Magdalene. He drove demons out of her. He set her free from prostitution. And she was the one that had the love in her heart for Jesus waiting at the tomb going, where did they put the body? She's crying. And finally Jesus just looks at her and says, Mary. Mary. And then she knew it was the Lord. And then Jesus said to her, I'm making up a word or two in here. But he says, honey, 
my homies are running from me. <laughs> I need you to go find them. You go tell them I'm alive. You go tell them I'll meet them in Galilee just like I said I would. And she had the great honor of being the first one to see Jesus alive and being the apostle to the apostle. So life might have been rough with a lot of us, dealt us a lot of hard blows. Yes. But if we'll just come to the feet of Jesus and we'll say, Lord, I'm yours, use me. Lord, I'm yours, use me. And if we'll linger around the place of danger. See, what Bishop Madison is doing here is dangerous. And there are people saying, don't hang out with those white folk. What do you mean talking about the president? What do you mean talking about right to life? Just get in line with the rest of us. So he says, no, I'm going to step out. I'm going to go to the place of danger. They had, a, they had warriors there guarding that tomb. That little gal could have had her head cut off. She could have been run through with a sword. The apostles are all hiding in an upper room like a bunch of little scared schoolgirls. And it was the girl. It was that little lady, Mary Magdalene, who had the guts to go to the place of danger. And guess what? She got to see Jesus. You go to the place of danger, young man, for God, and God will let you see Jesus. The others will be going, well, I don't see him. I don't know where he is. What are you talking about? I saw him because I went to the tomb. I saw him because I went to the place of danger. And he told me to tell you. <laughs> then you get to be God's spokesman and God's spokeswoman. God told me to tell you. Go and meet him in Galilee. Can I get a witness, please? Please. Please. So, hang out with your pastor at the place of danger because that's where Jesus shows up. Amen. Amen. Dr. Alan Keyes, kindred spirit with Bishop Madison. Dr. Alan Keyes ran for president of the United States three times, served as an ambassador to the UN. Amen. He's been on TV, national news, international news more times than I can count. But you know what? Like your pastor, like Mary Magdalene, he goes to the place of danger. When you hear the roar of the lion, don't run from it, run to it. Yeah. And that's what Alan Keyes has done. You might know he's a jailbird, just got out of jail. He's going back, too. And maybe some of y'all can join him. I've been in some of the best prayer meetings of my whole life behind bars. I'm telling you that right now. You want to go to the place of danger? You want to make history? Then don't fear the contempt of men. Fear God more. Fear God more. Fear God more. And so with that, I give you my friend, your pastor's friend, the lion-hearted, the righteous, Dr. Alan Keith. Praise right. God. Praise God. Well, uh, good afternoon. I was about to say good morning, but that wouldn't do. That wouldn't do right now. But uh, I want to talk to you first because so uh, sometimes when when we start out, I of course was uh, in jail just now. So I am fresh from behind bars. All right. And I, I'm not standing up here recommending to folks that just out of the blue you should find your way in jail because there are...